Another product was sent to me from Aohi. I've done some other products they've sent me over, like this power brick here. This one's fantastic. I've also done a cable set from them. Let's open this up and see what they've sent me. So we're gonna back up here and we're gonna do this properly. So look at this. This is like a movie prop, watch this. And there should be like smoke coming out. And like green. And there's like a like that. Those are my movie sound effects. Uh, this is sweet. They really do focus on the uh, aesthetics of their products. Like everything that I've opened from them has been a little bit of an experience. This is their like, uh, this really high-end power thing right here. I leave it in the box so I don't lose it, but then I take this with me traveling. So this is a portable high wattage power brick. So that's that USB-C. I'm going to need that. That's 140 watts. So I'm going to need that. So 40,000 milliamp hours, a watt. 140 power lever, 140 watts up, up like for a single. Okay, so uh, it looks like some type of fuel cell that you get on like a doom gun, right? Like you'd put that in there and it would shoot pulse rifles. So that's immediately amazing. Uh, that's your power in, USB-C power in, because it's a power bank, right? You're gonna charge this big boy here. Uh, there's a film on there, which we can take off. Nice kind of design there. Some kind of button, probably an on button. Right side there, 40,000. You know, sometimes I don't like like gamer vibe kind of things. But this thing is like super movie or like cyberpunk or aliens or something like that. So this is super cool. Uh, anyways, back on track. So we have here, uh, if I can get the lighting on that. So we have here USB-C out. So that's the first one. USB-C out. So that's the second one. And USB-A out. Okay, so let's test this now on this G14. G14 can take, I think it's 100 watts over USB-C. It's pulling in 100 watts, 75 watts, up to 90, 95. Oh, it's gonna charge this thing fast. Yeah, because the device takes up to 100 watts, so it'll charge real quick. And yeah, that's that there, so we can do another 40 technically. Uh, so let's just double check that, make sure it's, it'll probably, yeah, so that's that. And we'll uh, have this Thunderbolt 4, which does a lot of watts as well, because it's Thunderbolt 4. Plug that in there, plug that into my Legion Go, which I don't think is fully charged, so it should start eating some battery. I have to turn it on. I don't think it's... When you have one device plugged in, it will pull 100 watts, uh, or I guess up to 140. This only can pull 100 watts, but I guess technically it could pull up to 140, right? Uh, now we're splitting between the two of them, so it's going to give 65 to the uh, G14 and 65 to the Legion Go. The G14 is totally fine with taking 65 watts. It's not going to be like, I can't charge because it's 65 watts. Uh, you could use it like relatively intensely. Uh, you couldn't really game on it on 65 watts. You could, but you would drain. Um, so you, you know, you, you, but you could do other tasks, right? So you could do both of those totally fine. So that's going to be putting us actually still not full technically for charging. It's a 10 gigabit thing, so we're going to plug that in. And uh, I don't know. It's, can I charge my phone? I don't know if this cable will work. We'll see. Oh, yeah, apparently it does. So uh, give it a second to figure out what it's doing there. Yep, so it's doing its thing. Oh, I forgot to turn on the G14. There we go. So it's doing its thing. You can see there, it just takes a second for it to figure out. These these devices have like AI, I hate that term. Uh, they have like, um, you know, like machine learning AI kind of stuff built in. So it'll figure it out. So it's saying, you know, well, so it'll take a second or two to kind of figure that out, right? It won't just immediately be like, boom, 65, 65 and five, or whatever, it's 55, 55 and four it's gonna take a second to kind of figure it out. So usually the screen will flicker for a minute. It'll say, how much does this device need here? How much does this device need here? How much does this device need here? So I'm pretty sure it'll have enough power to the CPU to run a game, I think, off of 100 watts. I know that the Lenovo Legion can do it. Uh, it can game off of USB-C, so we'll just see if we can here. Okay, and there we go. We are in God of War, so it's pulling, you know, lots of watts, basically. Uh, that's pulling, yeah, like 98.4 right now. Um, yeah, but the other thing is you can also come in here. Uh, that's the, one of the advantages of, you know, these modern gaming devices is you don't necessarily have to game at like max settings here. And uh, you'll see here if we come back in, uh, yeah, we're pretty much maintaining power now, just about break, break even now at this point here. Whereas a device like this, like a slightly lower uh, wattage device, like a 4060, 4050, 4070, uh, you know, these type devices here, you should be able to 
have significantly longer battery life because of uh, the battery bank here. I mean, yeah, you want to play games on a USB-C? Depends on your laptop, right? If you have a Lenovo Legion with a 4060 or 4050 or 4070, you're gonna have no problem gaming on a uh, with this here on USB-C. The Asus stuff pulls slightly more power. It's just the way that the Asus power plans are. So you can game on this. You'll be fine. You probably will slowly trickle drain, but I mean, you're looking at a percent maybe every, I don't know, five to 10 minutes, something like that, maybe 15 minutes. So what's that? I don't know, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Like you'll basically be going forever, um, really until this thing runs out more or less, and then you'll drain fast because the laptop itself will just murder its battery real quick because uh, this has more charge this has more battery life than the laptop so that you can do something like this but i mean a lot most people probably aren't gaming but you certainly can right on a gaming laptop you can certainly do that um you know, we'll kill out of this game here i don't need to do that anymore and uh so immediately you know and i'll just start like it's it was still at 83 so i think that entire time i don't know how many minutes that was maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes we might have drained two percent in like 20 minutes or so, something like that. Uh, the other option is you know, a business style laptop that like that doesn't even pull more than 65 watts. This only pulls 65 watts. Let me turn that on here. This thing's at 80, 77% after all that gaming, uh, charging up the Legion Go here, which is gonna be charged in about 25 minutes, which is not bad for 25%. Uh, the Legion Go doesn't charge super fast. Uh, this one, I have no idea how long it's gonna take to charge an hour and 45 minutes, because completely dead so uh, yeah I mean this thing's fantastic right so if you have um, it's a pretty big power bank right so this may not be something you're going to toss in your pocket but it is something that you're probably going to take if you're traveling right you take this uh, when you're traveling you're going to be able to charge multiple devices at the same time for example you could do whichever your favorite handheld is one of the higher power ones like the legion go here uh, or the ROG Ally, which uses more power. The Steam Deck doesn't even use as much, it uses only 25, only uh, 45 watts, so a lot less power going to that. Uh, you can charge like a business style laptop like this here easily. You know, that goes 65 when they're split, no problem.